The market pressures are hitting first time home buyers very hard. And the high interest rates not making things any easier. Fox 10's Lauren Clark joining us live tonight to explain. Lauren? Well, good evening there, John and Christina. Yeah, absolutely a very interesting time right now for the real estate market. Now, a recent report from the National Realtors Association revealed that 26% of people who bought a home last year were first time home buyers. That's the lowest rate we've seen in about four decades. Now, some are wondering how the current interest rates will impact that further. It's in uncertainty right now. There's a lot of turmoil, a lot of headwinds. For 23 years, Neil Brooks has worked as a real estate agent in Arizona, but he says what we're experiencing now is certainly interesting. Well, I'm seeing a lot of uncertainty right now with buyers and sellers. Uncertainty, he says, as the Federal Reserve continues to hike up interest rates as a means to combat inflation by dampening demand. Specifically impacting, says Neil, those looking to buy a home for the first time. I would say the biggest challenge for a first time home buyer right now is the interest rates. The interest rates are getting higher. It's eating into their buying ability. Leading some to wait the market out. I almost bought a house, actually, in upstate New York. Including Jonathan Paul, who traded the idea of a mortgage for a mobile home. This is my tiny home, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and says with the current home prices and interest rates, he doesn't regret it one bit. It's a lot easier on me and my pocketbook, and it's easier for my dogs. They can play in a different park every day, see new things, hike new trails. But on the other hand, prices are coming down and there's lots of concessions for buyers right now. But while there's challenges with the current market, Neil points out there's opportunities for first time buyers too. Well, my buyers are not only getting uh, concessions as far as their closing costs paid, they're also getting repairs to the house that need to be done and they're getting these homes way under the appraised value. As for Jonathan, he says one day he might make the shift to a traditional home ownership, but for now, he's loving life on his four-wheeled home with pups Josie and Cassie in tow. For the money aspect of it and just being able to be wherever I want to be, depending on what I want to do, that's probably what I like best. And by the way, the age of the average first time homeowner has actually gone up as well. It's now at 36. Just a year ago, it was at 33. Reporting live, Lauren Clark, Fox 10.